Look at this. What a beautiful day. Uh. Whew. What is up, YouTube Adventure family? Today, we're going to talk about choosing an e-bike that is right for you, or e-bikes, in case you're like me and have more than one. But today, we are going to talk about choosing the right e-bike and the different types of e-bikes, the different price ranges, and some of the features that they have, and the ones that I suggest being absolutely super balls deep in this industry. I really want to talk about not only the bikes that I choose to be a part of as far as companies go, but e-bikes that I choose just in general anyway. And we're gonna go from a price point of all the way below $1,000 all the way up over $4,000, up to $5,000 almost actually. So anyways, that's beside the point. But today we're gonna to take out the bike that I'm enjoying the heck out of because this is going to be a leisurely cruise down valley. It's going to be on the Rave Bullet X that is absolutely unbelievably awesome. I love this e-bike. But we're going to hop on this bike and we're going to talk about e-bikes. The right one for you, the price point, the ones that I would choose because I just talk to so many people and just see so many people. I fix a lot of e-bikes locally here including Super 73s. Uh, I fix a lot of these e-bikes, so I really want to talk about it. So we're going to hop on the Rave Bullet X, and we're going to talk about from everything from folding bikes to bikes you just want to show off to your friends. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on the Rave Bullet X, and let's talk about the right e-bike for you. It is so freaking nice out. Let's turn on the bike. Let's turn this on too. I'll keep track of where I'm, how many miles and average and all that stuff. I like keeping track. It's kind of a nerdy thing today. But, anyways, today we're going to take off here. And we're going to head on out. And we're going to talk about choosing the right e bike or e bikes. I feel like me and you have more than three. I don't want to talk about that right now. Anyways, choosing the right e-bike is super, super duper important because that's an investment. And also, I want to tell you something that the, the first e-bike you buy won't be the last e-bike you buy. And your last e-bike you buy won't be the last e-bike you buy. So, so there's that. So, in the category of foldables, I'm going to have it broken up in two. Basically, your high-end foldable e-bike, if money's not really an option, and you're still not spending, you know, $2,500 or anything. And then, like, the one that I suggest everybody gets just because of the reputation and customer service so forth, so forth. So, like, under the $1,000 mark right now, as you'll see, I'll put the picture up here and a link below as well this right here is the electric xp 3.0 in black right now they got on sale for 999 dollars under a thousand dollars that's just ludicrous that's crazy that's a really good price point okay now for those of you that maybe you want a higher end foldable bike, e-bike, you need to check out the Juiced Jet Current Pro. Like I've seen a lot of really nice foldable e-bikes. Like Electric has some, Ingway has some, uh, Cyrusher has some. There's some companies that have some really cool foldable e-bikes. But that Juiced Jet Current Pro, they've got like, it's like a, a darkish purple color. It is just slick. Now the thing about it is, the difference between it and that electric, that electric you're looking at 500 watts, small 48 volt battery, where if you're looking at the Juiced Jet Current Pro, you're looking at 52 volts, 1200 watt nominal motor and a 20 amp 19.2 amp battery amp hour battery so you're looking at much more bike 
and I mean seriously like if you're looking at like follow a bike you got a camper y'all go camping traveling or whatever and you're all at the you're all you know at the campground or you know camping out with a bunch of your friends and you're sitting around the campfire or going up to the lake or whatever I promise you that juiced jet current pro and that purple color or any of the other colors and I'll put a link below right here it is check that thing out $22.99 though so there's that but you will be the talk of the campground <laughs> you'll be the talk of the damn neighborhood I mean look at that thing it's anyways that is like if I had the money right now just to throw an e-bikes as far as foldable goes that'd be number one anyways that's the foldables under 1200 kind of just in its own category there's not really another bike seriously that goes with this bike and I can say this because I bought this bike with my own damn money and I owned it there's many videos as you can see it basically started the upswing of my YouTube channel which introduced me to all these e-bikes and e-bike companies and ended up leading to me getting an e-bike sponsorship and affiliate programs so on and so forth my god it's so nice out it's also really windy out did I say that already anyways under 1200 category and here it is boom check it out the juiced rip racer get it while you can I don't really know how much longer these bikes could be available especially at this price 1149 that's crazy man I think I bought mine for 1199 while it was on sale so this is even cheaper than what it was when I got it the damn thing's great hydraulic brakes 52 volts 15.6 amp hour battery now you do have to pedal over 20 miles an hour to get up to 28 and unless you buy the off-road controller which I did it's a little pricey but it was worth it oh my gosh let's stop here and look we just we got to stop here and look every time we're here just because uh, look at this gorgeous 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 that is just beautiful I love where I live I really do it's just unreal all right let's continue down the bike path huh under 1500 the rave bullet x and da 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 this is beautiful right here the rave bullet v2 all right might as well show you i'm on it in its own category fifteen hundred dollars and under is the rave bullet x and its little brother sister brother cousin whatever the rave bullet v2 which i also have both those bikes are really great and they're they got a lot of similarities but they're really a lot different too they're like just like brother and sister that aren't twins they're similar and different but this bike right here is being nothing but just uh -huh. but this bike right here has been nothing but an absolute pleasure of a bike to ride because i mean the height of it for one i'm 6'3 i mean you get it it fits so it fits like a glove and it's like you know it's legit it's a class two or class three e-bike depending on how you have the p settings or whatever i mean it's a class three e-bike is what i've got it at it's 750 and 25 plus miles an hour whatever it's a great bike and under 1500 this is the bike i pick now you're gonna say but but whatever chris the Colorado adventure channel sponsored by rave and you've got an affiliate program with rave and yes no shit but guess who reached out to rave to get that me you know why i reached out to rave because that's the bike i picked that's the bike i chose just because they're sponsored just because they're affiliate doesn't mean anything it means I emailed them and talked to them and had multiple conversations and worked out deals with them. That's all that means. That's the business side. But as far as the bike itself, yeah, it's the bike I picked. It's the Rave Bullet X. It's awesome. Anyways, 
Uh, we'll get back on that. And the little one, the smaller one, is the Rave Bullet V2. Now, the differences are obviously the size. The X is the bigger version, just like the GTX and the GT of the 52 volt, 1000 watt Jahamas. This is more of like, you know, bike path oriented, you know, e bike ish, more of an e bike. Is going to be your Bullet X and your Bullet V2. Those are going to be more of your e bikes more than an e-motorcycle or e-cycle let's say because that's when you're getting your class two class three with these e-bikes you know but they're super super duper comfortable and i can't tell you how much i love these seats i was talking to a guy today that chimed in on the youtube just on comments there and he's like you know what do you like you know do you like the that kind of seat or do you like the other kind of seat you know like the regular bicycle seat you know like the post and everything or you know how's the seat on this and he's talking about you know the wired freedom which looks more like a bicycle and then the raves that look more like a you know like a moped honestly or whatever And the comfort of these bikes is amazing. So un, in the under $1,500 mark, and you'll see here, boom, there is the Rave Bullet X. And you can see that coming in at under $1,300, $1,299. That's crazy. And the link below will help my YouTube channel there since I do work closely with Rave. And also check this one out, boom. That's the Rave Bullet V2. Both of those e-bikes are great for the e-bike path, e-bike trail, cruising around town, going to your neighbor's barbecue, whatever. Those bikes are legit. And that's why I'm riding this one on the bike path, cruising right along, and just freaking enjoy it and it's so comfortable albeit not rear suspension still super comfortable <laughs> that looks so dangerous <laughs> that looks so dangerous <laughs> my ankles hurt watching <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome all right so we're gonna cruise on down here looks like the fishing piers open the volleyball courts the same volleyball courts are open awesome but yeah in the under 1500 dollar category i've got to put easily the rave bullet x and the rave bullet v2 just the 750 watt power of the 48 volt. Just super awesome category of an e-bike to take anywhere and everywhere and feel legit about it. I've mentioned that in my videos before about just feeling totally, totally legit on the e-bike pass with a legitimate e-bike. You know, watch your rules and regulations, like I've said many times, before choosing your e-bike and making that investment, because that investment can come a pain in the ass if you can't ride the damn thing legitimately, legally. I mean, not that they're gonna crack down. I mean, I don't think they would, but for crying out loud, they might, just in case, but they're probably not. And I'm not checking my messages. Talking to ex-girlfriends, so bad. So, so bad. But yeah, I'm right outside of Beaver Creek Ski Resort, as you can see there. It's super, super freaking awesome out today. It's super beautiful. Uh, E-biking around. I'll tell you what, whatever e-bike you pick, they are fun. Just pick the right one. And that's what I'm trying to do today is help you pick the right one. Because Lord, I've had e-scooters, I've had e-bikes, I've had foldables. 
bench style bicycle ones and man i've even as we get closer to this next category i'm about to talk to this was the 1500 dollars and under which was the rave bullet x and the rave bullet v2 which is the smaller version of this but there are some different differences i made a video of the differences between the bullet x and the bullet v2 so check out that video i'll put a link of that below too just talking about those differences and the similarities but they're both legit that's good now we're getting into a category where these e-bikes start getting a little bit different and where you really got to pay attention to the rules and regulations of your local area you can see here i'm at nottingham lake that is beaver creek up there that's bachelor gulch going up there we've got arrowhead ski resort and if you can barely see the snow above the condos over there that is game creek bowl and vale and i live over there so i live in the middle of the ski resorts it's beautiful right and e-biking is huge around here we passed some e-bikers already today that's going to get more popular as it warms up today's like the first day it's warmed up in a few days so e-biking is great so rules and regulations as we get into the next freaking category that's why i pulled over here for a second because i gotta catch my breath this next category is crucial and important the reason for it is is because you do have to check with your local laws and regulations to be legit not that they're going to enforce those laws i'm just saying it's just something you've got to keep an eye out on honestly i'm just trying to be honest here all right So we're going to get back on the e-bike here and we're going to talk about this next category where you do really need to check out your local laws and regulations if you want to stay legit if you don't care you don't care see i really don't give a a care as much around here because as long as you're not going to be obnoxious and cause a scene and just be reckless and bother people you're not gonna have a problem you're just not all right let's go around to huh god it is gorgeous out check it out this is gonna be loud i know mm, look how cool beautiful i mean you look at one side you know south facing and north facing are two totally different so south facing you get no snow north facing there's still snow this is beautiful absolutely gorgeous we're going to cruise over here now in the under two thousand dollar category this is like you know like i was saying back there when we were parked this is like you know a little bit different this is where not only are you spending more money closer to two thousand dollars you know the rules kind of change because the two bikes i pick out for this one is one is one i ordered and that is get it while you can this is kind of like my pick of the whole entire deal here get it while you can is the rave gtx with a 20 amp hour battery only you don't get the little extra 8 amp hour battery but you can order that later or separately and you can also get it on amazon or from rave either way and you just got to get a battery blender be sure you get that before you do that that's super uber duper important peel through here and see this bike jets through just fine wherever you want to go i mean it's super important this is an investment especially now that we're getting up in price so that rave gtx at 18.99 with a 20 amp hour deal is a steal right now because right now i mean what is it 22 20 22 .99, 23 .99 for the gtx 
with the extra eight amp hour battery. So at $18.99 for a 20 amp hour battery in a GTX, that's a steal, because later on you can get the, the eight amp hour battery if you need it, even if you need it. You may not even need that extra battery and still get all that power and all the fun and dual suspension and all that. So that's my pick of one of the bikes. The other one obviously is the Wired Freedom. The Wired Freedom is just, I mean, it's almost got a cult following at this point. And you've even got other manufacturers like eSales kind of copying that e-bike, which is kind of crazy that they're doing that. I guess it's flattery or copy or I, I don't even know what you say at that point. Anyway, is the Wired Freedom. And here's the link to that right here. I'm not gonna go into depth about it. There's a bazillion videos about the Wired Freedom and the new one that's out that they have out now. And I think they got like another one that's a step through version of it that doesn't have the dual battery. But this new one they're coming out with, I think it's having a dual battery. But here's a link to the current one they have on their website anyway. It just seems to be a popular one. I'm just not really big with that that seat style with comfort when you could get this, you know, bench seat or banana seat style that you can move back and forth on, carry two people, and it's just super cushy. I mean, it's so cushy that on this one, I don't need a dual suspension, it's super cushy. Anyways, uh, that's the under 2000 mark, and like I said, we're getting into the category of of big ones and that wired freedom is 60 volts <laughs> and like 2000 watts or some crazy shit that it puts out anyways which you know we'll start talking about legitimate e-bikes so check your laws local listings whether you're comfortable buying something legit or not and just following the rules and the laws on the road and just not making a scene you're probably not have a problem anyway you probably throw a sticker on there that you could get on eBay or Amazon. I didn't, I'm not telling you to, just saying you can. Whatever. Anyways. Okay. So the next category between $2,000 and $3,000, which is my favorite category, which really aligns with kind of like where my budget falls anyway. So there's that. Let's up on through here and then around. And more rental bikes. Yeehaw. Swift. So, between the $2,000 and $3,000 range is where we find my two bikes of choice. I haven't really stopped right here and looked yet. I hope I don't interrupt nobody. This is the pond lake that was a pond. Now they're making it into a, a lake thing. So there's that. Pretty cool, huh? And all the picnic tables on the beach. Hopefully that'll be ready soon. I'm gonna take the paddleboard and the e-bikes on a journey, but in between the two and three thousand dollar bike range. Let's talk about that for a second. Now I'm gonna talk really in depth a little bit about that. So in between that range, there's two bikes that just stick out to me. And that's the Rave Bullet GTX 28 amp hour e-bike. Check it out, here it is. I mean, you got 52 volts, 28 amp hours. It's got a thousand watt motor that I mean, just has tons of torque and it's got a great top end. It's dual suspension. The bike looks absolutely amazing. It's got no range anxiety whatsoever. You wouldn't have to worry about nothing. So there's that. Okay. And it's just a beautiful bike. I mean, I bought or I ordered the, the Rave GTX in the 20 amp hour version which is super cool and I because I've already got the 8 52 volt 8 amp hour battery to put in with it so I mean I'm gonna have the 28 amp hour 
version, I just already had the battery, so I'm saving a little bit of money there. Uh, that football field looking all green here at the middle school. So that's like the e-bike that I really, really think really just sticks out in that category because of looks, so on and so forth, it being 52 volts, 1,000 watt. You know, as far as legalities, you're probably not going to get harassed too much about that bike, even if it's not in that 750 range category type deal or whatever. You're probably not going to get harassed anyways on that one. Now, the next one is another bike I hold very close and dear to my heart because I ordered this bike as well. This bike should be coming like at the end of next week, early the the next week whatever hopefully before my birthday my birthday is May 20th so hopefully before the end but anyways the goat power goat this is a new bike this bike has matter of fact I'll go ahead and say it this bike is just now docked it is just now docked check out the cool fire truck that is super cool it is just now docked and got you know past customs and all that stuff so that that bike right there is just now going to be getting to the warehouse in san diego like monday ish so they're going to have to put that thing in the inventory like monday and tuesday they probably won't even start shipping that dang thing out to like wednesday or thursday which means i probably won't get that thing probably till I don't know, the 13th, 14th, or something like that at the earliest. So that'll be a, a few days off before I get the GOAT Power GOAT. And I'll probably have the, the Rave GTX, Bullet GTX, before then, a couple days before then. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday of this week. It'd be really cool. And I could compare those two bikes, but in the category that is most important to me is between the $2,000 and $3,000 price range. And the reason a lot of other bikes didn't make it is just because like seating comfort stuff like that but anyways here is the goat power goat check it out 60 volts it comes with a 20 amp hour battery which isn't really big for a 60 volt type thing but you have the option as you can see there you have the option to get like the other kit to get another 20 amp hour 60 volt battery put with it would which would give you 40 amp hours of 60 volt which is very significant it has a speed of like around 45 miles an hour on this bike too which is super cool super awesome ah uh, as you can see there though like the rave bullet gtx coming in at you know a whopping twenty three hundred dollars or whatever so is this one a whopping twenty three ninety nine and it's probably gonna go up more if you don't hurry up and order it now the next batch coming in you should be able to get it shipped to you around the beginning of june so you might want to go ahead check the link below use the coupon code for any of the goat products any of the goat bikes colorado adventure channel is your coupon code you're going to save five to ten percent that's like a couple hundred bucks that's like two two hundred thirty bucks or whatever so use the coupon code uh, so the price range between two and three thousand dollars you got the rave bullet gtx and if you want a smaller version you know get the rave bullet gt it's a smaller version of the gtx now it's in that same price range it's like 21.99 something like that so it's in between that two and three thousand it's just a smaller version the goat power goat which is just my style bike it's got that long cafe racer seat too and 60 volts uh you know that's a lot of voltage and the motor on that thing is super awesome it's a little bit different of a hub type motor uh you know it doesn't have like the gears and all that stuff in it so it's a little bit different of a motor they normally don't have as much torque but a lot of top end this one seems to have a lot of torque there's like a 50 amp controller in the goat power goat so that's what makes that thing so powerful and awesome i can't wait to get those two i will do a review on those i will do a side by side comparison of those two since they are in that same kind of price range when i get them these are the two bikes that i chose personally to own 
because I fall in that two and three thousand dollar price range. I don't fall in the the three and four thousand dollar price range yet, but that may change one day, and one day you'll see me with like a a Zoo's Ultra Flex twelve hundred and a uh, Super seventy three Adventure S E whatever. Anyways, we'll get on to that category next. Uh, let's go. So now we're getting into the category where shit starts getting real, real, man. Like the next category, uh, is just like you're above $3,000 mark. Like, you know, this is where the category of bike, and even one of these bikes in this, in this category is above $4,000. Check out this. This right here is the Zoo's Ultraflex 1200. I'll put a link below for it too, but it's running, you know, almost $3,300 plus taxes. I don't know about shipping, but check with the shipping. It might be free shipping, but check out that. That's like, that's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. You get a thousand watt, you know, hub motor there. You get, you know, a nice controller. It's got a good top speed on it. It's got dual suspension. It looks really, really cool. It's got great components. It's a great bike, right? I mean, but man, that's a lot of money. Okay, now we're gonna go even a step further, which is even crazier. So we're gonna cruise on down through, huh? And the step further is this, dude. Check this out. The Super 73 Adventure Series SE. Look at this thing. For the love of goodness. That's just nuts, huh? I'll let this truck go by here. I mean, that's just nuts. Almost $4,300. I don't know if that includes, ta I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if you're going to have to pay taxes and shipping and all that jazz too, but $4,300 for this puppy. Is it worth it? Probably would. If I had the money, would I buy it? Probably. You'll have to do a lot to make it perform better than what it comes as. Uh -huh. Amazing. The Home Depot. But yeah, the, the Super 73 Adventure Series, that SE in all black is basically just, man, if I could have two bikes right now, if money wasn't an issue, I would definitely want that Super 73. You just got to put a lot into it, okay? And that Ultra Flex by Zoos, which basically comes as ready to go. It just, you don't have to do shit to it. It, it is thirty, almost $3,300. It's on sale right now. I have the link below if you grab it right now. But for crying out loud, it's already ready to go. The Super 73 Adventure Series, the SE, you're gonna have to do some things to, to make it to perform how you probably want it to perform, but it comes with all kinds of good fun things. It does come with a 750 watt motor that you can really do a lot to. It's super sturdy, but you're gonna have to upgrade the controller. I think it comes with 25 amp hour battery, 48 volt, another thing you might want to take in consideration when spending that money. Uh, goodness gracious, as we wrap this up, we're going to talk really quick about two more bikes in their own category. Not really a category that has to do with the e-bikes, it's more of off-road, but I'm going to include them just because it's a thing as I wrap this up. Anyways, we just rode all that way. And max speed was 27. We were just cruising. I didn't think we went that far. We went seven miles. And we didn't go down any battery bars at all. We were just on flat ground, average 10 miles. But for 41 minutes, I've been jabbering and jabbing on and off the bike. Ugh. Look at that. These shift bikes, they rent out. They rent these out fairly quickly. They stay rented out. Anyways, we're going to talk the final category that, I mean, you could take off-road. Your Talarias, your Surons, and all this, but there's two bikes out there right now. Is you've got the Goat Dirt, 
And the reason I'm putting that in this category because at $39.99 while it's on sale, normally $48.99, that is a heck of a deal for an off-road dual suspension dirt e-bike. $39.99. And those guys are great over at GOAT. So check this out. There it is. And then they, I'll have the link below at $39.99. <clears throat> you're wanting an off-road dirt bike that just does it all at a great price. Right there it is. That's a great, great, great bike. If money isn't really an issue and you want a really, really good dirt bike, the number one choice I think right now going on are the guys over at Vora Motors. And that's the A-Ride Pro SS 2.0. That thing is sharp. Look it out, check it out. There it is, $48.99. I'll put a link below too for that thing. Melvin and the guys at Vora are super, super cool. I've had great conversations with those guys. They're super cool. Anyways, that bike is, I think, is at the top of the list for the dirt bike off-road because it comes ready to go. I mean, you don't have to do what you have to do to Suron or Tularia. It's, uh, it comes with the 72, big bad boy, ready to go, boom, gone. Just out of the box, ready to go. Maybe change the tires on it, the CSTs that come with it that I saw. Maybe change those. But that is the dirt bike recommendation. Oh my gosh, the crow just about swooped down. That's the dirt bike recommendation to end the category of which bike to choose for you and which bike would I choose. Those are the bikes I would choose. Those are the bikes I recommend, not only for the quality and the prices and the categories I put those in, but for the customer service, the dependability and how they back up their product. And they've all been around quite a while now. And they got versions twos and versions threes of these bikes coming out. So now these bikes are certainly awesome. And when you think about Oh my gosh, I just bought this e-bike and now they come out with a version two, version three of it. I mean, it's just like cars. They come out with a new year of a car every year too. I mean, this is how this industry is going and how it's growing. So don't get disappointed, just sell it. The one that you don't want an upgrade. They hold the resale value really well, these bikes do. Just keep them in good shape and take good care of them. You know, I know what to do and how to treat them well and change your brake pads. It's not that hard. For goodness sake, but check it out. Or the Rave Bullet X to wrapping up the category of how to choose your e bike. I hope this helps because I've been through the pain and the suffering to figure this out on my own, and I hope that it helps you figure it out on your own so you can quit renting these things and buy you one. Because look how much cooler the ones e bike are. And you can also check with your local jurisdiction see if you get like a rebate or refund or something to help you out because here in my hometown you get like a $200 rebate when you show them that you bought your e-bike even if you bought it online so check with your local peoples on that huh anyways I'm gonna wrap it up I'm gonna go get something to eat I'm hungry but I hope that me working up an appetite helped you decide on your appetite for an e-bike and go get you one Go get you one. Whether it's one that I mentioned or what, go get you one. It's really good to get outside. It really, at COVID, really brought me out into the world again and got me social again and really helped a lot just getting the fresh air and the exercise. Uh. How to choose your e-bike. Again, this is Chris with the Colorado Adventure Channel. It's our next adventure. Peace.